So we've got another big hot internet offering on the plate. Tonight we will get Yelp's uh, IPO pricing. Looks like they're gonna raise about $100 million, valuing the company around almost $900 million. This is a bit of a precursor, if you will, to the big Facebook deal, which is coming up this spring. But Rob Searin here has some views. He's, he's done uh, a couple of reviews and come up with how many stars out of five? It's about uh, almost to use two, the, the Yelp two stars out of five, which, is, which isn't so great. Two stars out of five, what's, what's your argument for that? Um, well, there are a couple arguments. I mean, if you look at it, first off, um, the company just loses a lot of money, and it's losing, it's lost money every year since 2007, and the losses are getting even even greater over time. But yet, yet um, revenues are going up. Yeah, the cost of, to get it's, those it's, revenues. The so this is like a Groupon, isn't it? The I mean, scalability just the scale. Every time you, uh, you to add revenues, you have to add costs because yeah. you've got to get salespeople. Exactly. And all you that get salespeople calling all the restaurants, right. and the restaurants get annoyed, etc. And then um, <laughs> the other problem, of course, is that Google wants to kill them. And that's not. That's it's not really great. bad when you have like a two hundred billion dollar behemoth which that basically owns the to, internet uh, which coming after your Facebook, ass. That's bad, which right? Can buy them Facebook free, also like, wants to kill them. So you have two yeah. massive. Predators uh, but how difficult them. is it to kill them? I mean, what is the, the competitive um, advantage that, that they have? Well, they do a couple uh, yeah. things. First off, um, you know, most people how do they find restaurants? They look up on Google a lot of times, and so they, they get a lot. And of Google just links they to a, Yelp. Yeah, they get a lot of traffic from. Well, actually, they are actually yeah. taking Yelp stuff and putting it up as their ah branding as their own. Google also owns the Gap. Is that a copyright? Issue. Um, well, they kind of occasionally those come up in Silicon say, Valley, right? Yeah, they, they do sometimes, <laughs> so just occasionally. Yeah. Um, and the other the other problem is that um, Google has its own offering, Zagat's. They they bought them out, and so now if you look up a restaurant, guess which shows up first? The Zagat's review. You know, the, uh, right. the, the uh, of course that's a curated review yeah. rather than a Yelp, which is a which I'd, I'd, I'd rather have actually. I mean, You'd rather have someone actually tell you what. Yeah, what, I mean the, the, the Yelp reviews are fun to read sometimes because they're ridiculous, and sometimes they're good, but they're but the, they're they're uneven. And this listing also has all the hallmarks of Silicon Valley in that you can have a pretty small float. You have dual class share structure, which favors oh, really? the okay. owners. Mm -hmm. um, so there's just, a, I mean, there's just a lot of things. Did we get a glorious with. letter from the founder telling us why they're morally better than the rest of, <laughs> of course, corporate world? <laughs> Excellent. Well, okay, we'll keep an eye on that as it prices tonight, and we'll be back with more breaking views tomorrow.